Live Show 2023. Uh, I'm here with Brian from 2A Armament, and uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, some of their bolt carrier groups. Obviously, there's a million companies here that have bolt carrier groups that have holes in them, that have all these sort of gimmicks to try and be lightweight to make your rifle cycle smoother. Um, one of the things that 2A has is their regulated bolt carrier group. Can you explain the difference, because I just learned this, between pressure and flow in a, in a rifle? Yeah, so our bolt carrier group, we recognize the problem in developing these where, you know, as you reduce the, the carrier mass, you increase the carrier speed. Yes. So we mess with gas blocks. You know, this system is not to replace a gas block. The gas block serves a different purpose. An over gas gun requires a gas block, you know, adjust the gas block. A gun with high carrier speeds needs to be able to regulate it at the point of use and control how quickly that piston is being expanded. So we restrict pressure off volume. The, the whole concept behind it was prevent the stove piping, yes. the over cycling of the fire. Uh, now, because these, uh, if you haven't gotten the whole one of these, uh, versus uh, this one weighs just under, we have a scale just under a pound. Yep. Uh, and what is this one coming at? Um, like nine, yeah, ounces. nine ounces. Nine ounces, so just a little over half a pound. That's a huge yep. weight saving for like Sniper Adventure Challenge. That saves a lot of weight, uh, which is really great. And the thing that surprised me most was their, they do that with their AR-10 bullets, is uh, just the weight difference. What is, what is a standard? You know, there's really no industry standard on uh, what you know, is your one for the versus uh, Like 23 ounces to 14. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, again, almost half. You know, and the, the, so the same problem kind of persists in the AR-10 market is, you know, we've gone as light as we'll consistently cycle. Okay. You know, once you get to the point where the, the mass is so low, it will fail to strip, okay. particularly on... High capacity mag, you know. Yes. You, know you, you can take another five ounces out of this, it'll run fine in a five round mag. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a jam matic in a ten, and it's a single shot of the twenty. Yes. You know. Um, one of the other things that was really really cool that I learned the other day is about the coatings. Um, so obviously titanium is not a heat treatable metal. Um, but you guys use uh, a, a special coating on there that, yep. that retains the oil, uh -huh. um, uh, is, is hard and slick. Yep. Um, because it's one of the things that I hear all the time and get into it with people all the time is, how much oil do you run in your AR? Yeah. And there's a, you know, people will say, oh, if it's not splattering on your glasses when you fire, yeah. it's too dry. How, did, how does this solve that problem? So this coating was actually, it's derived from the motorsports market. Um, we stumbled upon this during our adventures in drag racing. Um, we were doing some engine development stuff, pulling high depression vacuum in the crankcases of the motors, and it, it draws all the moisture and the oil out of the wrist pins. The wrist pins go all seize up, rip themselves out of the bottom of the piston. Engine failure, catastrophic. So we stumbled upon these, we did about 20 different coatings trying to figure out something that would help retain that oil film. And this is a diamond like coating, so it's 68 plus Rockwell, so it's super hard. Fits that hard shell on just like a conventional case hardening of every other carrier on the market. But what this does do is it allows oils and grease to permeate within it, and it retains the, the lubricant unbelievably. You know, once you apply lubricant to it, it's almost impossible to get it off. You, you spray brake clean, carb clean, CLP, everything. Yep. And so, it, so that stuff will attack the carbon that's that's on the surface, but it's, it, there's still some in yep. the in the material. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. And uh, uh, because you guys have followed me a lot, uh, not only do I like things that, that function well, but they have to have the style too. Uh, if you haven't looked at any of the 2A arms uh, rifles, I run their their uh, Balios light set. Uh, you guys have recently, uh, I think it was from last year, came out with the, the Forge Receiver set. Uh, it's a little bit more price point. Yep. Uh, yeah, that was a, you know, the common, the 
penetrate the more of the commodities market, the, the entry level. You know, we know and understand not everybody wants to spend, you know, premium, premium money. You know, nor do they need that. It's try to try to make a shoe for each foot. Yeah. Um, now you guys. Uh, so in addition to just the, the bulk carrier groups, they do offer. Um, they have the, the AR-15 platforms, the AR-10 platforms, like the Xanthos. Uh -huh. uh, I have one of those too, uh, yeah. and I love it. <laughs> uh, so just excited to learn about the material science. So if you guys are asking, uh, how much loop do I need on my gun? Well, it depends on what bolt carrier you have. If you have something yes. that does, that's, that's very uh, uh, oleophobic, I think mm -hmm. is the word, uh, you're going to need a lot more oil because it's going to yep. spit it out. It's going to it's dry up. Yeah, the, you know, the conventional... No spec carrier has zero oil retention capability. Okay. Um, most of these coatings actually shed oil. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. Uh, which, which I have seen, especially when we're shooting down in New Mexico, and there's fine, fine dust and sand, and like that gets in, and it's just oh, it's the worst because yep. then, then everything dries up and it seizes up. Yeah, so. it just cakes up and yeah. quits running. Same thing, suppressed. You know, yep. super common with suppressed. Is outstanding. So, uh, if you guys have, uh, uh, you want to look into their products, it's 2a-arms.com. Yep. That's it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, you bet. Yeah.